three contestants, one basket, four mystery ingredients, 30 minutes, and only one winner. The challenge, create a meal from the mystery ingredients before time runs out. Who will win, and who will be chopped? Welcome to the BSN Staff Chop Challenge Kitchen. You have four mystery ingredients in your basket. You can use whatever else you find in the BSN, but you have to have those four ingredients on the plates. One, two, three, set! The ingredients are tomatoes, an unnamed fruit drink, dried fruit, and a corned beef and potato mash. And with that our contestants are cooking. Let's see what they can do with these ingredients. So Ian, what do you have going on here? Uh, I am going to attempt to make a uh, dumpling with each of these. Oh wow. I've never made dumplings before, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Creative. Okay, so you're going to have to make the what were your thoughts about the ingredients? Oh, the dog? Oh, the dog? Oh. Well, we've got our, our corned beef medallion seasoned and ready to sear off. So what made you think of well, I knew the corned beef was going to be really salty. So I thought, let's do a kind of seared, salty corned beef, and we've got the blueberries to have a sweet contrast kind of sauce to go with it, with some of the juice in it also. And we're going to serve some roasted garlic tomatoes with it. Halfway there. Time for the judges to do some judging. All right, Andrew, what do you have for us? Yeah, so I did like a hash with um, like a compote and then like a tomato salad on it. So. Yeah, so it's the corned beef hash and then I reduced down the fr dried fruit with the other sauce with tomato sauce in it to make like a sauce with it. And then so the sauce is in there with the hash. And so it's like, acid and sweet and there's heat there's like pressured pepper in the hash thank you Andrew. yeah thanks all right joe what do you have for us well so i was inspired by a mediterranean children's dish and so it's a dish that smiles at you i hope you smile when you eat it um, so what we went with here is a South Asian Mediterranean kind of fusion themed uh, corn beef hash medallion. It's been seared off on a griddle, so seasoned and seared off. And then, so that's your salty, that's your salty, like spicy part, uh, seasoned part. And then you've got the acidic of the tomato that was roasted in the oven with some garlic. Um, and then uh, you have the sweetness and a little bit of heat in the sweetness of the blueberry cranberry chutney that goes along with the medallions and the, and the tomatoes. So I suggest you try each individually and then try at least one bite with all three together. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. My Too pleasure. busy eating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you have for us, Ian? So I've made a uh, dumpling um, out of the ingredients given to us and uh, the pickle is for a light uh, acidity to help balance out the uh, hardiness of the different uh, meats. I'm a little concerned about the raw dough. Just chill out. That's a little... <laughs> I'm 
Yeah. It's just a little toasted. I taste a lot of dough. It's good. Yeah. That's Especially actually... since you've never made them. How the heck did y'all make this taste good? Thank you. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. The canned hash, right? That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Canned hash was a very interesting, mm -hmm. but I think the one that, for me, that really complemented the hash distinctively, probably Joe's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Amber's mixing it in really well. Oh, it did? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected all of them to mix together so well. Right. Ian's was interesting. His was good, it would have been better if with the, the, the cook. The, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I can't really add to that. I love raw dough. Oh. <laughs> I'm a heathen. Oh, so he made it for you. <laughs> probably. He's, probably, he's playing one third of the jokes. So. <laughs> You're right. He knows. I will say though that Ian went out to be bold. He did. And he it tasted, never never done that before. It tasted it was good. really well. Yeah. Yeah. It was very good. But I think for the Not first big. time trying it, I don't think it's win worthy on the show, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's not. But it is. Yeah. It was good. It was all really good. Yeah. Oh, man. Amber's chutney was very good. <clears throat> it was Surprisingly so. Yeah, it was, it was I really good. I like the heat and Joe's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it wasn't a whole, like it was enough. It all complemented each yeah. other together. It wasn't overpowering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like, it was cool. Amber didn't even need the rice or mm -hmm. anything. No. So, I'm glad she didn't have it in there. I kind of wish she did, though. Yeah, but I mean, it still tasted good without it, so... Yeah, I think presentation wise, yeah. Joe. Joe, got Joe, the smiley face. Joe definitely oh, did the yeah. smiley Those face. Are the rules. Amber's, Amber pretty much said it's like the, the Sunday leftover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't going for the presentation mm -hmm. in no. say like fanciness. Right. Yeah. Like, it was still good all the together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was very colorful. Yes. I think the separation of everything though was good on Joe's, mm -hmm. and then when you mix it together, they, they complement each other really well. Yeah. And Although I ate the things. tomato first, so I didn't really get to yeah. taste that with everything. So, it was all really good together. Yeah. Well. I it to balanced raise. well. It's not because he's our boss, um, <laughs> no. and it's one-sided, but... And then um, Ian's presentation was good as well. Ian had a really, really good presentation. Yeah. So we decided. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, Amy, what was your favorite thing about every dish? Um, I like the heat and Joe's chutney. That was delicious. Um, good effort on your first attempt at dumplings. That was really <laughs> perfect. I liked it. It was fun to watch you make them and then, then actually be good. I liked it. Um, Worcestershire sauce, secret ingredient for the pan. Loved it. My favorite thing, um, I like how you put all of those random ingredients together and they actually tasted good and it all complemented well. And yours was good dumplings when you put all three ingredients that you had uh, really complemented each other well. And then Joe, I love your smiley face. And then, but also the taste of all of them together. Um, and separately, it was very good too. Remember, I really liked yours in the sense of like, you were like, yeah, this is just kind of like a leftover Sunday thing. And like, you didn't try much on presentation, not in the sense that you didn't try, but like you were just like, yo, I'm all about flavor. Here you go. And I really like that too. Uh, Joe, I don't know what it was called. Um, ate the tomatoes before I could try it all together, so I didn't have that going for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> all right, after much deliberation, we have decided that Joe is the winner of the cook-off. Yes. Good job. Oh, we can't change this. Oh, no. Yeah, 60. <laughs> Thank you all for participating. Yes. They were fun. What you did with corned beef. I'm going to go eat the rest of them. They were all really good.